Hey everybody, I thought that this would never happen, but I am going to be in court shortly. And because of COVID-19, our court appearances are actually um, through a webcam. So it's kind of like a Zoom meeting. The judge is there, the defense, prosecutors there. This is a criminal case, by the way. And you testify remotely in this manner. The interesting thing is when you testify in this manner, the question is, well, how do you effectively cross-examine somebody that is a witness for the state? And that's a good point. And what I notice in these criminal trials, the defense attorney always objects to the remote testimony. Well, as long as COVID-19 is still an epidemic, I think that this remote um, way of testifying is going to be still common. And also, we also consider that the California Supreme Court um, issued an order allowing us to testify remotely because of the pandemic. Hopefully, this will be something that is going to be used um, throughout the years in, in court. Uh, to me, the pressure is still the same as if you're physically right there in person on the on the stand everybody's looking at, actually i think there's more pressure everybody's just staring at you um going through the list of of questions while you're testifying under under oath okay so in this video i'm actually going to answer a question that is that was asked by um, one of our viewers and we'll call him jeff jeff is a former police executive, he's a retired police executive, and he had some interesting questions. It's always an honor to be able to um, communicate and, and help out um, our retired and former police executive. So I'm, I'm really, um, I'm really honored to help you out here, Jeff. So uh, Jeff says, I really enjoy your YouTube channel. Thank you very much, Jeff. Um, quick question, does your, well, these aren't really quick questions, but I'll, I'll give you answers, Jeff. Quick question, does your book prepare me for the PI qualified manager test or is it just for the PI exam? Jeff, my book prepares you for the qualified manager exam. There's only one exam and that exam is a qualified manager exam. There's not a private investigator exam and there's no um, secondary qualified manager exam. There's, there's just one, one test, okay? Next question, is there a recommended study source for the QM exam, that's qualified manager exam, if your book doesn't work no no that i can't think of any book the only thing you can study is a business professions code and that's hit and miss i don't have any recommended study sources and that's why my books make a lot of sales because there's no study source that's specific to california okay i highly recommend that you also read the reviews on amazon those of you that post those kind reviews, I really appreciate it. Every every review, I, I show it to my family and I just show them that the progress that, that's being made. So I, I really appreciate the reviews. Okay, additionally, if I pass the QM test and my company receives the PI license, does being a QM allow me to conduct PI work as well as manage the company? Absolutely. If you're a qualified manager, you're the one that does the work. And it allows you to be the to manage the company that's why it's called qualified manager company i'm sorry that's why it's called a qualified manager license and in california it's very common for somebody to own and operate the private investigative business so what i mean by own is you have the private investigator that is just the entity or the person or the individual that owns the private investigator license and the weird term is private investigator. We call them private investigator, even though this refers more to the business than a, an actual person. Um, and then the qualified manager is the person that runs the day-to-day -day operations of the business. Okay, the next question is, does my business partner need to take the PI exam if he is a corporate officer and listed as such on the corporation that we are applying as a license? No, your business partner does not have to take the PI exam. And then the last question is, can he do investigative work under the corporate license while I am the QM? Yes, 
as long as he is an employee, as long as he is working under your supervision, you being the qualified manager, you're reviewing all the cases, you're signing in the cases to him, and you're and, and you're actively supervising him, then yes, um, this person can conduct private investigative work under your supervision. Jeff, hopefully this helps. Have fun reading the book. Um, if you decide to um, trust me and, and purchase it, um, I think it's gonna I think it's gonna help you a lot. If you have any other questions, please ask. For all my other subscribers, if you have any comments, concerns, please ask. Keep in mind that the book, the private, the California Legal Investigator, was published on or about 2017. It is current for 2021. There was there's very little modifications, um, new law that has been passed during the last four years. So I wouldn't be concerned. Whenever there is new content, I usually make a video of it. But there's 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 nothing that there's really nothing to change. Um, I do want to add some forensics investigations, um, a section on on how to investigate social media um, or how to collect social media evidence. That's something that um, um, I might be inclined to do pretty soon. But a lot of that material that I want to discuss isn't even on the exam. So. The, the book is current. Look at all the reviews. There's over 70, 69 or 70 positive reviews. Okay, hope this helps. Like, subscribe, and share.